this nighttime Ohio chase starts off just like many others. The police are trying to pull over the stolen Hyundai ahead without a great deal of success. They attempt a box maneuver, hoping that it might persuade the driver to come to his senses. Instead, the suspect simply uses the opportunity to put some distance between himself and his pursuers. For a while, the officers are stuck following the fugitive's taillights, planning their next move. Until an unexpected guest joins the party. Motivated perhaps by some misguided sense of truth, justice, and the American way, the driver of this civilian vehicle decides to try his hand at a little law enforcement of his own. He speeds up to the suspect, squeezing between the stolen vehicle and another car. Once he's in the lead, the vigilante slams on his brakes, apparently inviting the crook to crash into his rear. When the suspect manages to swerve out of the way, the daring driver tries the exact same stunt again. And again. And again. For a while, the two civilian vehicles battle it out amongst themselves. This chaotic situation leaves the police without a safe way to directly intervene. While this guy's actions might be brave, they're also highly irresponsible, not to mention thoroughly illegal, and police are trained to treat such behavior extremely seriously, which means holding back until a safe solution presents itself. In fact, it's not until the car thief takes a surprise turn off the highway that the renegade civilian is finally removed from the equation. Now there's only one criminal for the officers to deal with. The criminal's inability to drive isn't going to help him. But he barrels on nonetheless. The policemen patiently maintain pursuit of this persistent fugitive. The chase carries on for what seems like an eternity until the car thief makes a desperate decision and bails out of the vehicle. But like many other car thieves before him, this guy's legs are no match for the police. He's apprehended and carted off to jail.